The University of the West Indies, Cave Hill Campus, recently hosted a discussion on energy injustice in the Caribbean. Energy justice is the fair distribution of both the benefits and burdens of energy production and consumption. The aim of energy justice is to ensure that all people, regardless of economic status, age, or geographic location, have access to affordable, reliable, and clean energy. Deputy Principal of the campus and Professor of Economics Winston Moore looked at the continuing plight of nations in the region as they move toward having their electricity produced from solar, geothermal, and wind energy sources. He highlighted the energy reality for countries in the region. This is a characteristic for most um, small island developing states. They're isolated or they're probably surrounded by an ocean. Now compare this to, um, to countries in Europe. Countries in Europe, you could potentially buy electricity from your neighbor. Professor Moore noted most countries in the Caribbean are very dependent on fossil fuels for generating electricity. In small island development states, you have to be self-sufficient in the production of your electricity. So this means you actually have to build in redundancies. So even so, if our demand for electricity is 100, um, um, say 100 megawatts, very small number, just giving you an example, uh, you therefore have to build in redundancies that maybe double that amount. UE's deputy principal compared the cost to produce electricity in the region to that of more developed nations. United States, Singapore, they're, they're paying around um, 18 cents, this is in US dollars, um, 18 cents per kilowatt. But you'll see that small island states in the Caribbean are paying um, more than twice that amount. Professor Moore shared some other pertinent statistics. So Barbados, we're paying around 29 cents per kilowatt and Jamaica around 32 cents per kilowatt. Uh, for electricity. So not only do we have to uh, invest in more capacity, we're actually paying more in terms of electricity prices. He indicated that there's another significant factor that many small island developing states are dealing with as they move towards sustainable energy sources. The transition to renewable energy. So at the moment we get around 200 to 250 million dollars from in tax revenue from the from taxing fossil fuels if you transition to all renewable energy that means you're going to be losing that same amount of money in terms of tax revenues professor moore noted that SIDS tax fossil fuels as a means of financing their budget deficits i am terry and brown campbell and this is Evolving Energy.